Hey everybody, I just wanted to uh, do another quick part two of my wardrobe tour. Uh, today I'm gonna focus on doggo prints because you know that's my thing. So I'm gonna start with this little doggo necklace. Um, I got it custom made from the indie brand. I saw that they have these cute little basset cameos and there you go. And of course, you know how much I love assets because mine, I can resist. So pretty, can't wait to wear it out. I also have this adorable Katie poodle stole that I got from a dear friend for Christmas. I also have longest name, AKA Pub and Cup, AKA the most delicious wrap and the most adorable dog and different variations of that I got from my friend again, who's super awesome from this year's gift exchange. He truly is the world's most adorable pup. Oh gosh, just looking at it, I feel like I should change my outfit today because I need to wear this. I love this dress. Oh, if I could get this in sacks too, I would also, but I wear mostly black anyway, so this color is perfect. Best doggo. I have my little uh, <laughs> boomer purse that I got from another dear friend from last year's annual call gift exchange and I actually found this on like a secondhand uh, shop but it was a little damaged and my friend got it for me and replaced the damaged strap and replaced it with this gold one. It's kind of on par with AP stuff. Um, a puppy? Yep, it's a puppy doesn't fit that much, but I love my little Basset. Not only an accessory, but I do have this uh, vintage Basset plush that I got from my aunt after my Basset passed away. It belonged to my grandma. My dad and aunt used to have a Basset when they were kids, and so so apparently my family has a thing for Basset. It's another not really a accessory or a little leader or anything. I just wanted to share this little thing an ornament that my sister got for me after my booms passed away. I cried when I opened it. <laughs> it just decorates my room. And since I've gone over in another video, so I'll just do it real fast, but here is my boomer custom print dress. The bows are detachable, so um, you can wear it with or without black. Full shearing. It has a head bow that's in my, my hair clip that's in my hair clip box, so I wouldn't be getting that out right now. But yeah, I'll just share this off real quick. Sorry Not Sorry, Tramway of Bright Stars is officially a doggo print because I say so. See, doggo's in the print, officially a doggo print. I just got this recently and I had it in a couple videos ago so I'm not gonna go too into this. But yeah, doggo print. And then I also have Angelic Pretty's Royal Poodle. Uh, this X colorway is clearly the best colorway. It has really pretty silver glitter lacing. Um, there's rhinestones and gems on the bows. Um, it does have a brooch, which is in my detachable items box. It does have full shearing, but because of the way that uh, the bodice is designed, the armholes were like way too small. So I did end up altering this one um, to add a couple inches. So my armpits weren't being suffocated. There's poodles on the dress, pink and blue ones. It's just such a cute dress. I love it. I also have the uh, socks, but they are stretched to hell. So AP, if you ever want to re-release Royal Poodle, that'd be awesome because I need some fresh socks. So I have a Captain Chris dress. Um, technically, Captain Chris is a fox, I think, um, but he looks like a wolf, so I'm gonna count him as part of my doggo print. I mean, technically, they're kind of related. <laughs> There's this really cute little face pocket. See? So freaking cute. Wait, is that one of him made out of chocolate? I've never noticed that before. And then of course I have my last Captain Chris print and I just oh, I'm in love with this. Isn't he cute? I mean seriously, tell me that doesn't look like a wolf. I also have a Captain Chris face mask. I have a Captain Chris uh, ears and tail set. I even have uh, one of the bags. Yeah, don't come at me, but uh, counts as a doggo. And then my final doggo print is Innocent World's puppy print. JSK, 
this one was released in multiple sizes. I was lucky enough to find the large size. I really like this one because it has a variety of different doggos on it. It's not just your typical poodle and that's it. There's a dachshund, there's a chihuahua, and then you still got your typical poodle and more chihuahuas. I had been looking for this dress for a long time and I finally found it a couple years back and like I said, in the size that I needed. Unfortunately for me, that is all my doggo prints that I have. I probably wish I had more. I am once again pleading with the Lolita gods to make 2024 at the year of the doggo, especially facets. I am so sick of little fruity pom-pom dogs. They're adorable. I've never had one. R.E.P. me, I guess, but I am begging for more dogs. Sharpays, pincers, bulldogs, bassets, especially bassets. Uh, okay, so crazy. I filmed this video yesterday and as you can see I'm editing because I'm not going anywhere dressed like this. It's cold and wet. Well it's cold and wet every day. Today I'm not dealing with the cold and wet. And I'm on Instagram and I see that the black ribbon has just posted a post saying that they are going to be doing some doggo prints. Talk about like being on the same wavelength or something but this is... <laughs> I'm so excited. But anyways, I guess it works out because uh, one super awesome item that I forgot to show y'all is this super awesome uh, Metamorphous Guardian Dog uh, sweater. It's super huge on me and it's super comfy and I live in it when I am not wearing Lolita. I'm wearing brand still and it's usually the sweater. <laughs> yeah, so now that I am subjecting everybody to my ugly mug, sorry y'all, I just had to add this in. Now, that's my entire taco wardrobe. Bye.